Yeah, true, Osa. So we're going to eat this field up. I think what we're going to do is we'll we'll chaff that sorghum and start our cows that way. And then eventually once in a while we'll have to chaff, but we'll get a lot of we'll get a lot of chaff off that sorghum field, so should be enough to get the cows started and kept fed for a while. That's if we can get cows. But we're going to get the harvest we're going to get this harvest done first, sell all of the crops that we have and uh, work with the money we have to to grow the equipment and stuff that we need for the farm. Yeah, they don't have irrigation. It's all, it's all like, yeah, like, dang, that pole is in just the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to chaff the, I wouldn't chaff sunflower seeds. The sunflower you're not going to get much chaff out of, right? But we're going to chaff that sorghum. What's up, Mad Mad Rouse? How's it going, man? Thank you for the cheer. Yeah, you said nothing out pulls the case contract. Yeah, it's sunflower, right? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't chaff this. You, you maybe you could. I, uh, I don't know. I do like the new symbols that they put on this map. It does look pretty cool. I like to have the change symbols. That means it'll never come to console. <laughs> so that's definitely a script of some sort. Hey, what's up, Iraq? I bet you're having a cold snap, too. It's super cold here. Now, the nice thing about the sunflower header is that the sunflower header cuts a lot faster. I think you harvest the... Yeah, I can see that I'm harvesting at 9 miles per hour instead of 6. So you get a speed boost using that. Um, I think it also... I don't know in game if it gives you more of a harvest than the corn one does, but supposedly in real life they're a little bit more gentle with the sunflowers, so they um, give you a better yield of sunflower. Yeah, it's pretty cold all over the country. We're having a cold snap. Yeah, same harvest, just faster. Okay. And that's disappointing because in real life, there actually is a difference. <laughs> run back and forth here a little bit, make some more room for us to work. Whew, that's expensive. Okay, so harvester's condition can result in lower yield. Okay, that's that's the thing they've changed then, huh? Yes, she did. Nope, she's asleep. You're not sleeping? Okay, she's laying on the bed looking very tired with her eyes closed, but she's not... Okay, with her eyes open, but she's looking very sleepy. Very sleepy. Oh, they were wondering... Uh, 44 was wondering if you went to sleep. No, she's awake. 32 in Texas. No. So you can actually ruin your yield if your harvester's in bad shape. Better take care of your harvester. I pretty much fix it after every harvest myself. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does, actually. Anything under 30 or around 30 and below feels terrible. That's all I know. And it is, I think, I think it's 10 degrees right now outside. It was uh, 18 in the high today, so. Uh, 
I think I added that mod also. I don't remember. That was in the game mod hub, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure I added that, but I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, at least you only... Now, imagine this, though, Mad Rouse. You, you, uh... You know, where I live here, I mean, we've been having sub-35 sub for almost a month and a half now, so maybe two months. We've gotten one or two days over 40. So, yeah, I wouldn't miss it either, Jer. I definitely would love to get away from it for a little while. It's cold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I downloaded the workshop tabber, so... Okay, Osa, I can get that. <laughs> That's so funny, Blackbeard. <laughs> forty over forty six. That's nice. Celsius, Celsius, Celsius. Did Osgly leave? She was here for a couple minutes. She's gone now. Sorry it took so long to get started, but here we are. Running right along. Yes, yep. Yeah, I saw that. Great, great mod. That's awesome. Do a little in the cab for my in the cab fans. go once again the cab view in this version of the game is not so bad it's much better than it used to be makes it much more playable I almost feel like I need to run along here too oh we're almost done You always miss when you harvest in the cab. With these kind of crops, it's not too bad because as long as you stay on track, like keeping that center line, I watch where the, you know, obviously where the crop, the crops are. And um, that helps you to stay on track and not miss. But I know what you're saying. Uh, yes, I'm using, I use an Xbox controller um, for PC uh, that I got at Walmart. Actually, this one is one that, that uh, uh, Big City gave me. Uh, I had two of them. I had the same one, actually, but with a camouflage pattern. And I had one for my Xbox and one for up here. Unfortunately, the kids lost my um, the the connector for one of them because they had these kind of, like breakaway connectors for the Xbox. So if you trip on it, you don't pull the Xbox over. But my dang kids lost <laughs> lost the connector. So I've got two joysticks, one connector. All right, so also narrow header. Yeah, that's true, Osa. Uh, because then I have to use a steering wheel, <laughs> and I have to sit behind it. And to be honest with you, farm sim because of all the buttons and controls and stuff, it's it's more comfortable uh, comfortable for me to be able to play like sitting different places and kind of leaning back or just relaxing. Like when you have a steering wheel, you can only sit one place, so you have to sit behind the steering wheel and sit like you're driving a, a car or something. Uh, and that fatigues you over time. So uh, I've learned with streaming to be as comfortable as possible. Um, and that helps me stream for longer periods of time. And I also don't like to have a very sore back when I'm done. So I don't, I haven't, it, with the last version with FS17, I had it all set up for that. And after doing it for about a year, I was like, you know what? I just prefer to play with the Xbox controller. <laughs> 
so call me lazy or whatever, but I don't, to me, it's not as much fun playing with a steering wheel setup for farm sim because, like I said, there's a lot of out of cab stuff that you're doing, and it just, it kind of just gets in the way. Uh, now, a game like ETS 2 or, or American Truck Simulator, I wouldn't have it any other way. You've got to play with a steering wheel. Um, but for whatever reason, farm sim just doesn't have that same feeling, so. Oh, that's cool, Blackbeard. <laughs> well, I'm glad you find it relaxing. Uh, I have fun doing it, so. All right, Swaggerfish, have a great night. Uh, and uh, get some good sleep. We'll see you next time. Uh, I'll be on tomorrow night. Not sure what time, but, you know, once again, Mondays, Tuesdays are pretty busy. Uh, but we'll try to be on at a, a more early time. Uh, maybe we'll do some Marwell. We'll have to see what... What mood Moni's in tomorrow if she's up for it or uh, maybe doing something different so but uh, yeah this is a cool map uh, a little bit tight in some places obviously down here at the end of the field we're kind of running into some tight spots but we'll get that sorted we'll get it all worked out <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, for two weeks there, Jerry, we were off a lot. But this last week, I've actually streamed just as much as I normally do. We've just been doing it later at night. Um, so trying to keep to this uh, a schedule is a little bit more difficult now that I'm trying to get my kids to bed in an orderly fashion. Um, as you saw tonight, even though I had them in bed, there were still injuries that happened when I first started the stream, so. Yeah, it depends. If I'm playing a shooter, I would much rather have keyboard and mouse than the, the joystick. So, um, the gamepad, I think, for this game is perfect. Um, for a lot of games, I like using the gamepad. But for shooters like World Warships or World Tanks or any kind of, like, Call of Duty or anything like that, I am much better with a mouse and keyboard than I ever will be with a controller. I hate doing shooters with a controller. Um, Red Dead works great with a controller. Um, like Grand Theft Auto, those games are really well set up for controllers, and I like using them with controllers. Even the PC versions, I play with a controller. But shooters, I like mouse and keyboard. And, of course, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator, it just they, they're so much better when you have a steering wheel. So I prefer to do that method. But... I wonder if I'm going to get filled up here. Uh, I want to finish this row, but I think the harvester's going to get full before I do, so... We'll Whoops, missed one. Um, yeah, so some gamers I don't... Some games I just won't... Like, like I could never play World of Tanks with a controller. But... <laughs> some mesmerizing. Are you mesmerized? Yes, Osa. Uh, seven to nine. That's correct. Dump it. I think Moni Moo is asleep now. Uh, any Xbox controller, as long as it has the USB connector, should work. Now, the wireless ones are a little bit more difficult. Um, you have to buy, like, a, a special connector for it. They make Xbox controller wireless controllers for PC that come with the dongle that you need it. But if you grab your regular wireless Xbox controller, you have to buy a special adapter to get it to work, and they, they're fussy. If you get the one from Microsoft where it says Xbox controller for PC, uh, that will have, the, or if it's wireless, that will have the dongle. Now, if you're using a wired controller, though, any Xbox or Xbox One controller will work. You just plug it in and it works. So, um, th I think I'm using version 1.2 flyover light, but you can use version 2 if you want. 
Uh, the one I'm using, I believe, is 1.2. Blackbeard, I think so. It makes it makes sense to flatten the landscape, especially. Yeah, oh, so that's what... I, okay, I see what you're saying, Also, yeah. Oh, that's cool, 44. Okay, so Xbox One wireless will run on Bluetooth. Okay, so if you, if you have Bluetooth, a lot of gaming PCs don't because they just don't come with it. You'd have to add it as an add-in card, but... Hey, what's up, Christoph? Yeah, the dongles are, are expensive. I agree. Yep, 30 bucks. Yep. You're almost better off just buying the wireless controller for PC because I think it's like 40 or 50 bucks, so... <laughs> I rock. <laughs> yeah, I buy wired controllers too. The wireless ones are just kind of a pain because the batteries are always dying and stuff. Did they get it wrong? Oh, that's hilarious. I rock. They couldn't. They didn't have them ready. Why didn't they just put you in the pull forward lane? Almost all the McDonald's we have, they have pull-forward lanes, so it's like, hey, this isn't going to be ready, so just pull forward and we'll bring it out to you. Right, I know, so that's the those, the ramp thing is so annoying. Uh, I use the front loader with a controller much easier than using it with a mouse. You just hold down the left bumper and move the right joystick and it moves it all over. It's much easier. Uh, the GTX 950 should be a lot better than the integrated card. Yeah. Even though that's an older card, it's still a very powerful card. It's going to be a lot better than the in the integrated one for sure. I, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be better. Usually integrated cards are crap, so... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Did you get your, you got your burritos? Well, that's good. Well, we seem to be pretty, getting a pretty lame yield off this field. It's got about 5,000 sunflowers. Then again, though, sunflowers are pretty valuable, so I'm going to guesstimate we'll have about 10,000 all said and done. Hopefully enough to fill one tipper. And then we'll grab another crop from one of our bins and we'll sell two trailer loads. I don't know if the Ram's going to help you play FS17. It can, but usually if you're dealing with a laptop, it's more of a video card issue. But it can help. If your hard drive's, you know, constantly running because you're you don't have enough RAM, then adding that RAM can help, but I don't know. How good is the field condition? Let's see. Uh, it needs, let's take a look. Needs plowing. But that's going to always need plowing because the harvest, because the sunflowers are going to require plowing. So uh, I would say cash crops, silage bales are still a good deal. Um, seems like the regular crops all do okay. None of them are terrible. Uh, cotton can be really good, but of course it's very expensive to get into. Um, but it seems like right now, the best bang for your buck still is the silage bale. So if you're willing to plant grass, forego getting a harvester, instead have a, uh, um, a mowing setup, and then just make silage bales, that's a good way to start a farm. Not good at the barn house, huh? Now why is that? Yeah, horses are another way, but it takes a long time to get there. Now, we, we are going to try to do horses on this farm, so we'll probably plant uh, oats on this field and grass on the other. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, so that'll help. That will help then. Ah, the barn prices are lower than the BGA. Interesting. Okay, but the question is this. What about 
What about bales? Does it matter? Aren't silage bales the same price no matter where you go? I don't know, and that's why I'm asking, but I, I, would, I would think they've always traditionally been the same price. Yeah, soybeans can be a cash crop still. Easy to work with. Um, easy to clean up after. They don't, unlike sunflower seeds or corn, they don't require plowing after each one. Now, you don't get any wheat or any straw off of them either, but if you're not looking for straw, then it's fine. Okay, so bales are same price as loose now. Okay. Oops, I'm going to fill up. See if I can make it to the end. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But yeah, they've definitely, Farm Sim has definitely nerfed the economy on all kinds of stuff, so things that were easy before are not easy. No, nothing makes great money. But things still make good money. So, um, it's I, that's why I haven't done the, uh, that's why I haven't really done uh, the uh, most valuable crop yet, because I'm still trying to figure that out, it seems like. Exactly, Osa. Less work needed for the soybeans, which makes them a potentially good cash crop. Is this full? Guess that's full. Huh. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, for acreage, they're about worth it. And don't forget, with wheat and barley, you also get straw money if you're selling the straw bales. So you may actually even be able to make more money with wheat and straw, with wheat and barley. See, I don't know it's the same on your map. I just started a new farm on this map, and you start with no land and not enough money to buy. Is that a bug? No. What you can do, um, actually, if you do, if you start as the easy mode, I my map flies over life. I had the the land already owned. Here, um, look, look at the map. I owned, um, when I started, I owned um, the these, these three patches already. I just didn't own any of this. What you're going to have to do um, is you're going to have to pull the uh, loan. So if you go in here and you go to, to the loan page, you're going to have to borrow all the money. You can borrow up to $800,000 Um on the uh, easy mode. So bar take a full loan out, buy a couple pieces of land, and make sure you have enough left over for the equipment that you need. Um, yeah, some of the, I think, uh, is it uh, Pure Farming 2018? One of, the, one of them has tobacco in them. Or no, it has cannabis, that's right. For making silage. Uh, I got this map from modhub.us. Uh, it's called Belgique Profound. And uh, it's on mod, modhub.us if you look up. Uh, just go into their maps and look for Belgique Profound. I know a lot of maps do that fly over. I found that a lot of the mod maps are not giving you land, like fields. Um, they start you with the main farm, but they don't start you with any. I've also had like Maypole or I'm sorry, not Maypole. Um, yeah, maybe it was Maypole. Didn't start me with anything. So low yield, high value. Yes. And oats I use for the horses. Here's the hard thing. Um, When we're doing these farms and we're basing them off of animals, we're having to use the animals to make money. And it's, it's a little bit difficult because they don't make a ton of money. So, like, once I make this an oat field, I really won't be getting any money from it. <laughs> uh, and so eventually you probably will want to buy another field. But, yep, even on easy, Jer. Even on easy. Oh, the other thing I want to change here. Hang on. Uh, talking about easy, um, let's see. This, this, it, 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 hmm. 
I wanted to see if the economy difficulty normal. Okay, good. That's what we wanted. Yeah, some maps give you equipment no matter what, and buildings, some maps give you nothing no matter what. It all depends on the person that made the mod map. It's different per map, so it's hard to get a good base on it. Yeah, the chickens... <laughs> the chickens aren't very profitable. <laughs> yeah, the map is nice, exactly. And you can always cheat some money in if you need to. Start it as a multiplayer game, start a new farm, send all the money from the new farm over to the old farm, and then start it back up as a single player game. <laughs> Or just like me, edit the files. VH Trucking is back. Welcome back, Tom. Let's go and grab the hole. Nope. Oh, don't split it. Oh. Snake eyes. It's like bowling. That was a big mistake there, splitting the crop. That's going to make it a lot harder, a lot harder to harvest. Or just use the government subsidy, right? <laughs> no chicken transport, Taylor. All right, there you go, fly over life. That works. One point two mil should be enough to do it. So we've harvested our, our soybeans, our soybeans, our sunflowers. And we're going to go ahead and finish up this last little chunk here. Chunk. Pop this out. Who's he, who here wants to see more Farmer's Dynasty? They've come out with a big patch. I'm wondering about starting over again. Um, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And I'm thinking maybe we'll do that tomorrow night. Um... Like I said, we'll have to see how Moni's feeling. If Moni wants to stream, then we'll do like a, a joint stream. But if she's tired, um, we might do some Farmer's Dynasty. There we go. Exactly, Osa. Yes, it seems like they've changed a lot, so... Exactly flies over life, right? right we're going to park right here for now. And we will... Yeah, it's a pretty good game, VH. It's weird. It's a different kind of farming game. The good news is we got a lot of, lot of uh, sunflower seeds off of this cell. So let's go ahead and take a look. Thirty medium-sized patches. <laughs> All right, we need to look here and see who's who's buying sunflower seeds. Um, we've got it. Oh, Aviv. Okay, Aviv really is the only place that buys any of the stuff that we have. So let's find out. I think Aviv is down at the southern end of the map. No, it's not. It's right by home. Oh, good. That'll make life a lot easier. Uh, I think with the card that you got, Kristoff, you should be able to do it. I think you'll be fine. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's, that, that 950 will run ATS like a champ. So uh, There's only two two maps that are included with the base game, but mod maps are free. Uh, if you go in the mod hub of the game that's actually in-game, there's a ton, of, uh, a ton of mods available. So don't panic about maps. They're easy to get. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. <sighs> Why? So this, I need to get different tippers. Dang it. Not in the game. Not in the game, Blackbeard. Um, uh, the only thing that makes a difference are the narrow tires. Um, the narrow tires make it so that you don't damage crops when they've grown and you have to drive through them, but that's the only thing that makes a difference are the narrow tires. Nothing else makes a difference. Yeah, I know, me too. 
thrill as Arthur backs up for 45 minutes. Oh, almost there. There we go. Making money. How much do we make? Not a ton. Well, yeah, not too bad. Yo, Hot Rod. Sweet. $17,000. Yeah, nope. <laughs> they don't do anything. Life's doing good. So I think we're going to buy a set of non-jointed tippers because this is <laughs> stupid. Annoying. Dumb. Hot Rod, thank you for the host. Mm. Mm. It takes so long for the wheels to turn. I'm not getting it to do what I want it to do. Come on, this way. There we go. <laughs> I can't even get my tractor where I want it. There we go. So I suppose we could keep these tippers for other things. Like, what do I need tippers for? Silage. They would work okay for that. Um, maybe one could be a fertilizer cart. Though I think that we don't need that, so... Why am I not getting the unload button? Am I not allowed to sell here with this tipper? What? <laughs> there you go. Really? Why am I not allowed to tip this? What? Hmm. I'm confused. Tip side left. Tip side left, right, left, right, left, right. That's all they do. 